Hey guys, it's Kathleen back with a thrift with me video. I have been sick, so I'm sorry that this video is dropping a little bit later than normal. Um, I also did not go thrifting this weekend because of being sick. So this footage is actually from a couple of weeks ago. It was several yard sales, but I think I did pretty good. And in fact, several of the items have already sold. So make sure you stay around for the footage so you can see what all sold. Oh my. Fredericks and Hollywood. Fredericks sells. What's this one? Lord and Taylor.
Melinda Anderson Duster. Oh. See a price thing for the quotes? I did not. Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the haul. Um, I think I did pretty decently. I went to one estate sale, and it was the first day of the estate sale, so. Nothing was terribly cheap, but I also didn't think the prices were totally like out of this world. I thought they were very fair prices, so I don't mind spending those kind of prices on the first day, especially when you can get some of the better items. Um, in total, I spent $45, and that includes going to three drive-by yard sales that I passed on the way to the estate sale. So um, I think I did okay. I think I did really good at the estate sale. And pretty decently at the yard sales. I'm going to start with the estate sale stuff. So she charged me $25 for everything in this box. Um, I know some of the prices, some of the individual prices, but not all of them. I do know I paid $5 for this. This is a vintage Milton Bradley game. I have not opened up the battery case yet because it is screwed on. And um, it is from 1994. So just no vintage. My kids used to play this when they were little, so I made sure that I had all the pieces. I just have to try it out, make sure it works. This will probably go somewhere around the $25 mark. And I paid $5 for that. I can't remember if I said or not. Oh, this was so exciting, and I don't think I paid more than a dollar or two for this, but I have never found Radco ornaments. And when I picked this up, I'm like, this feels like quality, and I saw this little snowflake thing and I'm like I wonder if that means it's a Radco because I couldn't see any like signature or markings and then 
I looked up Christopher Redco, and sure enough, this is apparently his little emblem. So um, I'm not sure what to expect out of this because I've never sold anything like this before. But um, I was really, really thrilled to have found this. And there was this lady going through all of the ornaments, and she's kind of being a grabby little thing, and I could hardly get near them. So I went to some box at the end that she had just kind of discarded. And that's where I found that. So, hmm, karma, you know how that goes. I grabbed this just because um, for my classroom, I did grab some stuff for me. Um, I picked these up only because they are new with the tags. Um, they are Croft and Barrow, and they are a size 16. They are corduroy, so these will definitely move as we're going into fall. It had a little, like, white stuff on it, but it all just kind of brushed off. So that was a decent pickup. I haven't even looked this up, but the last time I picked up one of these Habitat for Humanity bears, it sold really fast. And it's not that it sold high, it just sold way higher than I thought it was gonna sell for just some random little um, bear. And this gal is still sealed and in her original package with her ear tag. So I'm hoping I can get, I don't know, maybe $15 for her. $20 and it would be swell if she sold as fast as the other one did. Um, I grabbed these just because they're um, individually brand, because they're brand new and they're individually wrapped. So probably going to sell them as a lot. Oh, they're stuck together. Definitely going to sell them a lot then, <laughs> as a lot then. Okay, I grabbed this also for my classroom. It's just one of those little fishing games. I don't normally pick up Alabama stuff. Living in Alabama, I feel like it's very prevalent. I find it at a lot of estate sales and a lot of yard sales. And it's very limited in its appeal. But these are Danbury Mint. And I've not sold Danbury Mint that I can recall. And they are... Um, they have their year clearly labeled on them. When I looked at some of the Alabama Danbury Mint ornaments that sold, some of them sold really high, like over $100. Um, didn't do a, a very deep dive, but it seems that they have enough appeal that I definitely was willing to take a chance, especially because they were five bucks a piece, which is high for me for ornaments. Now, the other thing that put me over the top is that these are both, these are the last two years that we had Coach Saban. And so I feel like they will have some appeal for that reason, 22 and 23. I could be totally wrong on that because I really don't know football all that well. But um, like I said, I thought it was worth taking a chance and they're super cute. I mean, how adorable are those? Okay. I picked this up only because it was new with the tags. Not really familiar with the brand. It is called Anderson? Linda Anderson, New York. But it is in a large size. So this is size extra large. And these dusters do fairly well. It's really cute. I mean, look at the sleeves with the lace detail and the little buttons. Okay, this is something that I know it's icky. I know it's icky to buy things like this, but I have sold Fredericks of Hollywood before and they sell, and this is in a size large. Karen actually turned me on to this and I did throw up. Oh my, she was a dirty girl. <laughs> wow, girl. Okay, so. I will flash some comps up there. I guess this is crotchless and boobless. I don't know. I'm not heavy into lingerie myself. Okay, I grabbed this because it's Spode. Now Spode just does meh, but if this is not worth listing, I am absolutely gonna hang this on my tree because it's super, super pretty. I did a Google Lens search on this guy um, I cannot remember who he is called and what company he is by. It says it on here, but I cannot really read. I'll just flash it up there, but he, he resells for like 15 to $18. So he was worth picking up. 
Then the last thing I got at this estate sale was such a an interesting find. For the most part, her clothes were not the kind of stuff that I typically pick up for resale. Um, but this drew my attention because it was marked Hawaii. So this stuff sells. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to get at least $50 for this Moo Moo. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's really long. It's just really pretty. It's in great shape. It looks like it was hardly worn. Um, and it's a size 16. So I'm hoping I get, do really well. Oh, it has these kind of special little buttons. I can't remember what they're called. But how pretty is that? And I will flash the comps up there because, again, I really I can't remember. It might even go higher than 50. Not entirely sure. Okay, and then these are just my yard sale finds. The first one I'm going to pull off my foot. But these Birkenstocks were only 5 bucks. They were in good condition. I wasn't sure of the size, but I was pretty sure my little feet were going to fit in them. They did, so they're mine. I grabbed these, and so I paid only... Fifth, no, how much did I pay? $20 for everything in this bag. Um, these are cuddle duds, which um, are super comfy. They're a size small. These will resell for probably $10 new. Um, but honestly, I think I can keep them and just wear them as jams. I, this is, this was a $2 t-shirt, but again, I'm going to keep this <laughs> for me. I would never spend $2 on a Ralph Lauren polo t-shirt to resell, but it's a size large and I think it's just going to be comfy for Saturday wear and just throw it over a pair of leggings, maybe even these leggings. So that's for me. I grabbed these dry fit Nike. These are in a size large. They're in really good condition. They almost look new and Nike dry fit does really well for me. I mean, it doesn't sell crazy high, but it does move. I got my Emma some frilly socks. One, two, three. I feel like there's another pair. Yeah. So cute little girly socks. Okay. I am really surprised. I just threw this in there because it was reasonably priced. She had it for three bucks. And this actually, this probably came from that estate sale. I must have thrown it in the wrong bag. Anyway, um, it's new and in the package. And surprisingly enough, even though it's vintage and kind of iconic, it doesn't sell that high. Um, I think it sells for like maybe 8 to $10 new, which really did surprise me. But I didn't even pay $8 for it. Okay, then I grabbed these Nike shorts. They are in really cool colors. They are in a size medium, I believe. Dry fit. Um, and these will definitely sell. Maybe not only $10 to $12, but that's okay. I grabbed this little Lego kit just because it was new and in the package. And if it doesn't have any value for resale, then it will definitely go in my prize box at school. And then the last thing, I just love anything snakeskin. These Sam Edelman's um, tennis shoes, she sold them. Well, I love Sam Edelman. First of all, she sold them to me for only three bucks and they're in a size seven and a half. And look at the bottoms. They hardly have any wear. And when I looked at the comps, some of them sell for like 25 to $30. So I thought these were definitely a good pickup for only three bucks. All right, guys, that is everything for this thrift with me video. As always, hit the subscribe button down below, throw us a comment, hit the like button and bell notification, and we will catch you next time. Bye, guys.